Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. To my subscribers, thank you so much. Your support means the world to me and I very much appreciate you supporting my channel. If you're new here, I'm G and this is G's Nail Spot. So as usual, I've got here my prepped uh, press on nails, short stilettos, because they're my favorites, but they've all been prepped. So they have been filed, buffed, and they've got a base coat on. So today's set are going to be a Stranger Things set and I'm starting off with this Tamika Milky White so it's not a pure white it's uh, like a like I say a milky white because I'm painting on white nails anyway but I didn't want it to be bright white I just wanted like a milky white base and I'll use that for a couple of the nails and I'm going to be using this um, Blooming Ink gel stuff from McCart it was gifted to me by Mel all the nails and I'm, I'm still getting used to using this but I think I'm starting to get it and what I wanted on this nail was like a murky marbly dirty <laughs> grimy effect um, so all I've done is I've blobbed some of the ink on there it's in the color lead which is black and I'm just using a brush with some isopropyl alcohol or a nail cleanser on it to just manipulate that ink on the nail to kind of move it around until the nail looks how I want it to look because this is going to be the background for a picture I'm going to put on here so that's what it looks like as you can see you've kind of got like it's a nice marbly effect it's not got this sort of dark veins running through but that's not what I wanted so here are some old decals so they're old Stranger Things themed decals so they're from sort of the first seasons so I've took this Demi Gorgon um, because I'm going to use it but not as a Demi Gorgon I'm going to cut its head off no snip so the demigorgon is no longer a demigorgon but I wanted that body shape for this nail to turn it into something else so I'm going to plop it in the water prod it around a bit although it was being a bit obstinate and didn't want to come out so I'm just dabbing it off on a little bit of lint free um, pad there because uh, I don't want it too wet when I put it on the nail and then I'm going to slide it off and pop it on the nail and yes it's still headless but it will get ahead I promise <laughs> Okay, so there you go, a headless body on the nail. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this serious black urban graffiti gel polish and I'm going to paint a head on it. <laughs> it's not the most difficult. I'm using my Neo Nail 001 fine liner and I'm just painting a, a head on. Nothing, uh, nothing amazing or special. And for those of you that have watched the latest uh, season or the first seven episodes of the latest season, season four of Stranger Things, um, you might start recognizing this uh, hopefully it's been on a couple of weeks now so I was hoping most people might have watched at least some of the episodes so that you will get these nails because everything on these nails is from the latest season so I wanted to do uh, sort of some new images from the new stuff so this is kind of the main baddie I'm not going to give any spoilers in this video don't worry don't panic I'm not going to give anything away if you've not watched it um, but all the nails are prevalent icons in the new season but they won't give away anything so if you know you know but anyway this is the uh the latest bad guy i'm going to pop a picture of him on screen somewhere uh, very quickly but this is how you'll see him a lot of the time in the latest season Okay, next nail, and I think this is the ring finger nail. And again, I'm using that milky white Tamika, Tamika, Tamika. I don't know how you say it, but I'm using that on the nail, and I'm using going back to the black uh, blooming ink, and I'm doing pretty much the same process to get the same background on this as I did with the thumbnail. Okay, 
Now, the beauty about this blooming gel ink is that if you feel you've taken too much off, you can just pop some more on and then take some more off and keep doing that until you're totally happy. Like, I was really happy with that. But yeah, you can just keep messing around with it because it's so thin and pliable you can do that so i'm now going to do some stamping with this velociraptor bronzy metallic color from merry you london and this is a merry you london steampunk plate because i want to get a clock on this now so i'm using my trusty merry you stamper and scraper and this is going to be the first layer so i'm popping this on because you won't be able to see it that great so there you go so that's going to be like a background and then i'm going to do the same stamp again in black on top so it's kind of got a bit more dimension to it so sat on that murky background I think this works really really well okay moving on and as you notice the background's changed because I didn't realize until this point that I'd not put my usual pastel purple background down uh, which I always have down for stamping because it's easier uh, to do the stamping for wiping the stuff across anyway I'm now going to be putting some different colors on my palette there so we've got the devilish red we've got lemon sherbet I think that one is all by urban graffiti because I'm now going to do a little bit of artwork on here um, another prevalent icon from the show um, that you will see a lot <laughs> most of the storylines based around what this represents um, and it's funny because as I was doing it I mean I've cut a lot out because it took me a while because I'm using my fine liner there as well it's it's a very small logo on a very small nail but we got there uh, I was really happy with it but it's funny because it looks I kind of looked at it and thought, God, that looks a bit rubbish. But then when I looked at my picture reference, I thought, actually, that's exactly how the picture looks. And then I remembered this is a logo that was drawn by, effectively drawn by teenage boys for their D&D club. So it's what they drew. So it's not something that, an, a, you know, a designer or an artist drew. It's supposed to be something that the boys came up with as the logo for their club. So... I was all right with that then when I realized that <laughs> but let me know what you think in the comments below what do you think of my little logo for the Hellfire Club Okay, so at this point I'm done and I'm inspecting it and thinking, does that look like the logo? I think, yeah, actually, and I looked at my reference and I've popped it on screen for you to see as well. I don't think that's too bad. That's not a, that's not a bad little tribute to the Hellfire Club, is it? I don't know. Let me know what you think, but I was, I was quite happy with that. Okay, so on to the next nail and I'm using this IBD gel polish in Lucky Red because I just... I don't know, I just felt like it was a, a very Stranger Things red. So I'm tapping my fingers here because I was still kind of thinking what I was going to do with this nail. But then I thought, oh, let's go with the murky look again. Uh, and we'll use the blooming ink in lead in the black again. And I'm going to create a what they call gates in Stranger Things. So the portals to the upside down. And I've just used a combination of different polishes. So I started off with the blooming ink to, to make it look murky around the outside. And then the part in the middle, which is the actual portal part or the gate part, I've just sort of built up with different colors. So I'm using this blue sky burnt sienna, which is like an orange sparkly color, just to add a bit of glisten to it. So I've popped that on. And then I think on top of that, I used some of the snow white and uh, sherbet lemon. And actually, use a cocktail stick to pop that on which you'll see in a minute i use my brush with a little bit of alcohol just to clean up round and just basically keep fiddling with it until i'm happy with how it looks uh, and like i said i'm using a cocktail stick there 
just sort of mix in that white and yellow and then uh, just keep fiddling around with it until I'm happy basically there's a bit of laughing with this oh I also popped in a little bit more glitter that is a Beatles nail polish which you'll see in a minute it's one of the smaller ones it's B278 and that is a sparkly ready orange and it's from the music festival collection actually it was a collection of six polishes um, but like you say there you go so again I was fairly happy with that that I thought that was a good good copy of the the gates uh, uh to the upside down so here we are this is where we're up to final nail going back in with that lucky red and we're going to do some more stamping on this uh nail and oh yes i forgot a bit more of the milky white just to build up a bit of dimension to this nail so i'm not kind of painting it on in the normal fashion i'm kind of dobbing it on just so it looks thicker white in some places and more see-through in other places again uh, I'm using my IBD Fireworks, which is just a very fine, glittery, clear polish. Again, just to add a bit more dimension because I'm going to be stamping on top of this. And I'm using the Big Beauty Big Bang plate, which is one of the Halloween plates that I got a couple of years ago. And I'm using the Spider design for this one, using some black uh, clear jelly stamper polish. And I'm just going to let you watch how this turns out. I do love a good spider design and here they all are together so I'm pretty chuffed with those um, again I kind of did it on the fly was I didn't plan this out beforehand I just went with the flow I picked out the colors I wanted to use and just went with it so hopefully um, you guys are uh, think they're as good as I do um, I'm pretty happy like I say they're all uh, icons comment uh, in the box below let me know what you think of these nails do you like the icons that I picked? Uh, have you watched the latest season? Let me know what you think about it. But anyway, here are the finished nails. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Once again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.